Hello everybody, welcome to another episode from How to Webmaster. Today I'm going to review Turbo Spinner and setting it up on my website. It is an article rewriting tool. Let's check out some of the features before we get on to the setup tutorial. And I'll leave a link to this page for you guys to check out. There's also a live preview demo as well. And basically the main features is you get a limited article spinning with one click. It has its built-in synonyms database. There's a advertisement banner integration option, API access to offer to your visitors or customers, and supposedly human readable article rewriting, which we will find out and see if that's really true or not. So essentially with one article, you can rewrite it over and over again with this tool and have an unlimited copy of this one article. Okay, so that's the main point of using Article Rewriter. Now let's check out the demo provided. Here it is. When you purchase Turbo Spinner, you can set this up on your own site and offer this to your own visitors or use it for yourself. So let's go ahead and input in a quick article. Okay, so I found this article right here. Let's copy this and then go back to Turbo Spinner. Let's paste it in here just like that and then supposedly enter in this image security verification right here and then click on spin. Okay, there it is. This is the new version right here and obviously it's not perfect and it's not 100% human readable but it's actually not too bad. You still have to edit the article, fix the grammars. So it's not bad for being free to offer to your visitors. And it was actually really fast as well. It took maybe a couple seconds to get a new article. Okay, so let's go ahead and download and install this website. After making your purchase at Cold Canyon in your account, locate the product turbo spinner right here click on download and just download all files and documentation and there it is down here downloading okay once it's done downloading let's open up the zip file select everything and drag it out okay once that's done here are the files so here's the first one documentation shows you how to set it up and use the site so here's the documentation just gives you a tutorial on how to set up this site as well and I'll be following the steps here okay next PSD Photoshop files if you want to customize the logo you can do that upgrade you won't be using this if you're setting this up for the first time you won't be messing around with the upgrade folder right here upload this is what you will need to upload to your site upload all these files via FTP or whichever way you want to upload these files usually I just like to upload by using the zip method so I'm just gonna zip this up real quick so a zip file right here and I'm going to upload this I find this to be more efficient for me rather than using FTP I like to just upload it directly with my uh, cPanel file manager and cPanel is pretty much what all the web hosting companies uses nowadays and you can simply navigate to the folder or subdomain or even your root domain that you want to set this up and then click on upload and then drag and drop the file just like that or you can click on select file and this way it will upload uh, the zip file as you can see it's pretty fast all right let's click here to go back and as you can see it's uploaded right here and now all you have to do is extract it just like that and within a second it's done extracting and there it is everything is uploaded Okay, in the documentation, you need to cmod 777 for your files here, the core synonymous data file and the config.php file. 
So let's do that. Okay, so here's the config file. Just select it, click on permissions, and then you just select every single box. And you can see here permission is 777, and then click on change permissions. And if you're using FTP with FileZilla or any other FTP program, then you can do it from those programs as well. You can set the permissions. Okay, now locate the core file or the core folder right here. And then look for the synonymous data. I don't see it, but I'm thinking it is probably the whatever language version you want to set up. So I'm thinking right here, the English. Let's change permission to 777. Okay, the next step is to create the MySQL database in your cPanel under databases. Locate MySQL databases right here. And let's click on that. Your web hosting control panel may look a little bit different, but all of them should have an option to create MySQL databases. Okay, to create a new database, let's give it a name. Okay, there it is. Let's create the database. And the database has been added. Let's go back. Okay, let's scroll to the bottom where it says add a new user. Now let's give it a name and the password for this user. Okay and then create user okay the user has been successfully added let's go back now scroll to where it says add user to database okay let's locate the user that you just created now select the database to add the user to okay now click on add and in this step select this box right here all privileges so that way the user can do all these things to the database. Now click on make changes. Okay, success. Okay, in the next step, navigate to your new site where you just uploaded this turbo spinner. So here's my site URL, spin.howtowebmaster.com. And this page shows up right here, the installation page. And here it gives you a requirement check. Everything is good and okay. So that's good. If any of these are not good, you can contact your web hosting provider. Okay, down here, you need to enter in your database information that was just created. Okay, just like that. And database host, almost 99% of the time, it will be local host. So just type this in and then the database information and then click submit. Okay, database connection success. Everything is good. Now let's enter in your administration create a new admin account detail right here okay click on submit all right everything is successfully created and installation is complete let's log into the admin panel first before looking at the website okay enter in your admin details click on sign in all right the first time logging in it gives you some of these example stats here here you can manage your site, give it a new site name, title, description, and keywords. And you can also click here for adding in your own ads. And then down here with pages, you can enter in a new custom page. And down here are already example pages for FAQs, privacy policy, and terms of use. It's already created. And you can edit those as well if you want. All right, so let's check out the site. Here it is, bin.howtowebmaster.com, and I'll actually leave this site up for you guys to check out. Here it is, just exactly like in the demo. I haven't set up the advertisement banners yet, but I probably will. So feel free to come here and use the spinner, and let's check out to see if it works. So let me copy the article again. And this time, the image verification, you need to enter that in. But let's click on spin to see, see it says capture code is wrong, so that's good. Let's try again. Now enter in the capture before we submit the spin. All right, spin. Okay, there it is. 
and there is the new spun version and if you click on try new document and you can enter in a new document here so that's how easy it is to install turbo spinner i hope that wasn't too bad it works great and if you want to use it or install it for your own website check it out turbo spinner i'll leave a link down below it's a great tool to add to your website and offer it free to your visitors and that's what i'm doing here for my own site how to webmaster okay thanks so much for viewing let me know if you guys have any questions i hope this helps and be sure to subscribe to how to webmaster for more tips tricks and tutorials and more website builds in the future thanks again and until next time happy marketing